Dear students, today I will explain you the syllabus of numerical analysis one. So title of the course is numerical analysis one. Code of the course is math 401 and numerical analysis math 401. So to explore complex systems, physicists, engineers, financiers and mathematicians require computational methods since mathematical models are only rarely soluble algebraically. Numerical <clears throat> methods based upon sound computational mathematics are the basic algorithms underpinning computer predictions in modern system science, modern system science. The course will cover the classical fundamental topics in numerical methods such as approximation, numerical linear algebra, solution of nonlinear algebraic systems, matrix decomposition, interpolation and unstable systems. The viewpoint will be modern with connections made between each topic and a variety of applications. So that is what we will do in numerical analysis and what so the application of numerical analysis is much bigger than all other subjects in the mathematics because it deals with computational mathematics and with the help of computer science we have a lot of applications even in linear algebra solution of non-linear algebraic systems matrix decomposition interpolation and there are many applications in <clears throat> daily life. So what we want to be as outcome of this course, drive numerical methods for various mathematical operations and tasks such as interpolation, differentiation, the solution of linear and nonlinear equations and the solution through polynomials. Apply the numerical methods such as bisection false position newton robson to solve nonlinear equation and recognize iterative methods, for example, Jacobi gauss seidel methods. And we will try to implement a variety of numerical algorithms using appropriate programming, for example, MAPL. And the finally, effectively use numerical tools to solve problems in their own field of interest. There is my name is Mumtaz Eman, as you know. So as usual, we called as Dr. Eman. So there is other courses if you want to see, but you are here to concern with numerical analysis only. So the contents of the course are talk on computer arithmetics, approximation and errors. So in computer arithmetic, we will just uh, calculate different kinds of errors like round of errors, relative errors, and absolute errors. Next is linear and nonlinear equations. If you remember, we have also studied this linear equation with Gaussian elimination and Gauss-Jordan methods, and then we will study th these two methods are actually Gaussian and Gauss Jordan are elimination methods. Krauss, Cholesky, and Doolittle's and LU factorization methods are decomposition methods. But all these methods are direct methods. And iterative methods, in iterative methods, Jacobi and Gauss Seidel methods and SR methods are iterative methods. So up to 13. We will study linear equations and solution of linear equation, method of linear equations, and how to solve these linear equations and computing errors in iterative methods and linear uh, direct methods. Okay, so from three to fourteen, we will study linear equations and system of linear equations. We will study direct methods, elimination methods and decomposition methods and iterative methods. So three types of methods <coughs> we will study that uh, re, uh, relate to, related to the 
solution of linear equations. So next is the error analysis for iterative methods. So methods for the solutions of nonlinear equation. So from this, uh, we will start to study the nonlinear equation, system of nonlinear equation, and then we will apply this bisection method. These are actually the root finding methods, regular falsy method, fixed point iteration method, newton Raphson methods, and secant methods. So up to 20, up from this uh, 14 to 20, we will study actually the nonlinear equations and different methods to solve nonlinear equations. Next, we'll study interpolation. So interpolation, possibly, we will study after mid exams and before mid exams, we may complete this uh, secant methods, up to secant methods. And we will try to study after mid exam, this uh, interpolation. Interpolation is also a, a very interesting topic because using interpolation, we can predict, we can predict unavailable data on the basis of the available data. So here again in uh, interpolation, we will study forward interpolation, backward interpolation, and central difference formula. Then we will study Lagrange interpolation, Newton's divided difference formula regarding interpolation, and interpolation with the cubic spline. So spline is also the part of the numerical analysis, Hermite interpolation, so then least square approximation. Numerical differentiation, in numerical differentiation, we will study Richards, Richardson's extrapolation, Maple programming to implement above mentioned topics. And we will study different Maple commands and some basic programming. Uh, okay, it depends on the availability of time. What are, what are the recommended books? The first recommended book is Richard L. Burden and J. Douglas Fairs, Numerical Analysis. Latest edition, you can even download the latest edition or you can buy from the bookstore. So we will follow this first book. The next recommended books is uh, Applied Numerical Analysis. It's published by Pearson Education Singapore and the authors are Wheatley and Gerald. Also suggested books for the to study in deep. This uh, book is written by Chopra. Numerical Methods for Engineers, sixth edition is enough. If you get the latest edition, then it is fine. Numerical Methods for Scientists and Engineers. So second edition, but you can find the latest edition. And similarly, this Numerical Methods for Mathematics. So these three books are suggested books. You can consult any one of them. And research projects and practicals, research projects, assignments based on numerical techniques and algorithm often involve features which require their solutions can be awarded to students during their coursework period. So this normally uh, research projects will be awarded in the final semester. And you will complete this research projects with your favorite teachers. It depends on you and the topic. So why this project is just to accelerate convergence of numerical methods and finding solution of complex root finding, improving existing numerical techniques, etc. Assessment criteria. So the sessional marks will be 20, mid term marks will be 30 and final term marks will be 50. And if the exam will be conducted online, then it, there will be a little bit changes. Okay, and uh, here are your courses. So, come course one. Okay, we have just studied this elimination and iterative method, and you can find this course available in this elimination and method. So, here you can <clears throat> find the pages what we have studied in linear equation. This is the video about the Gaussian elimination method. You can also find the video and you can consult 
and in the first one uh, first you can even download the book by clicking on this numerical methods that pdf here you can download your favorite book and the other even recommended book is available here you can click on this and you can download this book okay so that's all about this short lecture